existence. All right, what's up, everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the Resistance. We got Zero, Grandmaster Evan, Genevieve, and myself. So, so um, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, Grandmaster Evan, you were talking before about the FBI having taken bribes from mainstream media. Yeah, CNN, Washington Post, New York Times, and NBC bribed 60 G-men, FBI agents. Buy them, buy them with gifts, money, trips, everything for an early scoop, early sneak uh, story. Okay. And, uh, Pertaining to what? Oh, the right, the Russia, the whole Russia collusion thing, the whole try to bring down Trump. I oh. did to bring down Trump, which about. Ten of them has regretted and actually spilling the beans. Really? Yeah. They're spilling the beans on the whole um the, the whole, whole enchilada. Story. I mean it's like there there's issues with the FBI and DOJ. Trump's gonna fire a uh, member of his, of his staff because uh he, he's Trump's gonna, gonna have fire to uh yeah, and it, it was announced today that Trump's going to think about firing somebody and take away their security clearance huh. because they, they're in the middle of the fake Russian collusion of bullshit. Huh. Huh. So um, to uh, correspond with the same topic of bribes, um, to... Re, to make you remember, um, just recently, not that long ago, there was photographer, there was somebody photographer, photographed, handing bribes for people to protest. Uh huh. It has happened. Well, I mean, I mean we've got just recently. They're they're not even caring. They'll do this shit, this out in the open now. They don't care anymore. They're doing everything. They're they're getting rid of anybody who wants to talk good about the president. They're getting rid of anybody who wants to talk neutral about the president. They only want to keep the people that want to say bad things and want to use Amendment 25 to get them out of there. Then in order for them to buy me off from being neutral, they're going to have to pay me a hundred. Uh, well, no, actually, it'd be a hundred billion dollars. Uh, I'll take 80 million. I, I, I'm good with 80 million. I'll take a hundred million. I just hope for nothing. I, I won't. I won't talk. Dude. I'm gonna talk. I won't do it. I won't. I won't. If I'm if I'm gonna protest, I'm gonna do it on my own t damn time, not someone else's dime and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just that it's yeah. purity blue bullshit because they want somebody. They want somebody to fake protest and make money doing it. Go fuck yourself. I ain't gonna get well. I don't. I don't want to get paid to protest. I want to do it my way, my terms, nobody else's terms. Well, if you got to protest, believe in what you're protesting. Yeah. Don't just Pro sit there and protest because be you're believe, paid to. Believe in it for for cause and not because someone wants to pay you to do it. Because no. if you do it just to do it, you're not doing it for the real for for the right reason. You don't, you don't have to do somebody's pain you need to do it. Yeah. And now everybody understands why I sit here and shut up most of the time. <laughs> I know too much. Well, for me, the reason why I would take a hundred million is because I'm in a situation. I'm in a monetary situation where I really need the damn money. So. <laughs> Hey, don't feel too what bad. Do you, I had, what do you uh, want to do when all that all that currency is just worth warmth and light? Whenever we become a social credit score. Oh, you mean like think, what China's I doing? Think, I think we already became that long time ago. The day we were born. Yep. 
No, I mean, it's, it's, it's even worse. A lot of people are technically calling this the mark of the beast. Like, this is going to abolish currency. This is going to be how you're going to buy, sell, and trade globally. Well, I'm glad I'm not into that whole Mark of the Beast bullshit. To me, Mark of the Beast is an eight pack of uh, chimichangas for lunch for a whole for a whole hour. That's my Mark of the Beast. I'm just bringing up a term of under of common knowledge is more or less what I'm bringing up. The yeah. RFID chips. And basically what I'm referencing is that they're abolishing currency and making it so that you Okay, so, so, down. so so the thing is a lot of people are using cash to cash is untraceable. Okay. They want to eliminate currency like cash and coins and shit and make people use cards, whatever. So there'll be trace of what was purchased and how, and how much was per what was no, no, no. Paid. They're going even farther. They're getting rid of plastic currency as well. You will literally walk into a store and buy a can of drink with your face. Dude, my face would break the machine. Dude, I I'm being serious here, but that is that's a funny joke. <laughs> I know, I, I know it's serious, man. I, I know it is. I don't so, like, so more I like the more idea. Let, 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 me ask, let me ask you a question here. If you was a big company and you wanted to make sure that you kept on getting profit because you're a big company, mm -hmm. would you go to a country that uh, had zero taxes or would you go to a country with even 15% taxes? If I was a big multi-billionaire company, uh, wow, no taxes or high tax. No taxes or taxes, period. Like, would you say 0% taxes or would you say 15%? I would go, if I was a multi-billionaire company and, I, and all I care about is profit, I would go where there are taxes, period. I, I can make more profit that way. Thank you for agreeing with all the globalist big tech companies who have moved to China because we was at 40, they was at 15, we dropped the 15 to match them, they said, fuck but, you. But right. if I was a company and I, and I went to a country, well, if I was a, if I was a multi billionaire company that, that went to a country where there, there are no taxes, I would save more money. See? Make a lot of money. See? And, That's and, why. That's why Facebook, Twitter, Google, Apple, all move to China. Yep. Well, I either, so much either, exactly either way, why. either way, you're still making profit. Because if you go a to dollar a, saved a, country, is a dollar earned. Well, it, here, here's the thing, though. If you go to, if you're a multi-billionaire company. You got two choices: zero taxes or taxes. Because either way, you're still making money. Yeah. One part you're 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 making money off taxes, and and also making money by paying no taxes. I'm just I'm just pointing out logical scenarios that are going what on if, across what the if, globe. What if, and once well, all these big tech way. companies actually sit there for a moment, China already has the social credit system established within their country. If all the big tech companies, since they have, I'm not going to use the word if, I apologize, they have went to China because of zero percent taxes. On what? top of that, they're 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 doing everything. Even the weapons department of a lot of companies have went to China. Yeah. Instead. What if what if you went to both places? It's, a, it's a just one. That's that's I I don't I don't get that. But you would that's the concept of pay, paying double. Well, rent. because you, because you if, rent if, twice. If, if, if you think you about it, two locations. Think about it. Okay, for for example, look at McDonald's, look at Burger King. I mean, look look, look at some some of these fast foods. They're they they're in China. They're in Russia. They're in Japan. They're in. 
uh, across, across the country, across the world. I'm like, talking uh, about central, centralized, centralized the business. Well, well, yeah. That way, they're they're making money globally. Whether you're in a country where there's no taxes, or or, or a country with taxes, you're you're, you're so you're, you're multiplying your, your your assets to different areas where you're making more profit that way. Yeah, well, you got to figure out what kind of company it is you're dealing with. If it's a fast food conglomerate like McDonald's, then you're going to need to be where your customers are. Whereas yeah. if you're a distributor of goods such as, say, Amazon. Amazon, Amazon Apple, you can be Walmart, located uh, in one particular country and distribute your goods in and out of that faci single facility. Yeah. So at which point, Amazon would have an easier <clears throat> time getting out of taxes by operating in a country that doesn't tax you versus a company that McDonald's. Well, well the thing is, you're, 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 you're making profit either way. Yeah, profit. Well, it, just, it just depends on how much profit you're making. I mean, yeah. you could be making $100 million or $85 million. It just depends on that tax bracket. I mean, if you're operating in a country that charges 15% taxes and you make $100 million before taxes, you're taking home 85 mil. Whereas if you're operating in a country like China and you make a profit of $100 million, you keep that $100 million. You're still turning a profit. It just oh, yeah, is a question are. of how much of a profit are you making? Are you up that 15% or are you out that 15%? Or whatever the percentage tax bracket is, depending on the country in which you operate. There's a new malware that's out now. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, com it's a hybrid uh, malware. The ransomware, botnet, and coin mining. Huh. It's called Roque. It's double. It's dubbed X Bash. Okay. What does X Bash do? It says here Windows and Linux users need to beware as an all in one destructive malware strain has been discovered in the wild that features multiple malware. Capabilities including ransomware, cryptocurrency miner, botnet, and self propagating worm targeting Linux and Windows systems. Oh, wow. Dubbed, X, dubbed XBash, new malware believed to be a be tied with the Iron Group, aka OK, a Chinese speaking uh, APT threat actors group known for previous cyber attacks involving ransomware and cryptocurrency miners. According to the researchers from security ven vendor Palo Alto Networks, who have covered the malware XBash is the all-in-one malware that features ransomware and cryptocurrency mining capabilities, as well as worm-like abilities similar to WannaCry or Pet Petya or not Petya. In addition, the self-propagating capabilities XBash uh, also contains a functionality which is not yet implemented that could allow the malware to spread quickly throughout you know, within an organization's network. The built in, in Python XBAS hunts for vulnerable, vulnerable and unprotected web services to lead databases such as MYSQL or Post uh, GRESQL and MongoDB running on Linux servers as part of its Ransomware capabilities. Important, important pay ransom will not get you anything. Huh. XBash have, have designed to scan for sources on target IP on both TC, TCP and UP, DDP ports, such as HTTP, VNC, MySQL, slash MariaDB, Telnet, FTP, 
MongoDB, RDP, Elasticsearch, Oracle Database, CouchDB, R login, and PostgreSQL. So I'm not full. Once find an open port, malware uses a weak name and password dictionary attack to brute force itself into a vulnerable service and once in, deletes all the database and then plays the ransom note. What's worrisome is that malware itself does not contain any functionality that would allow the recovery of deleted databases. Once a ransom amount has been paid the victims, well, by, by, by victims, to date, XBash has affected at least 48 victims who have already paid the ransom, making about $6,000 to date for some criminals behind the threat. However, researchers see no evidence that paid payments have resulted in recovery of data for the victims. Malware also capabilities to add targeted Linux-based systems and a botnet. XBash malware exploits flaws in Hadoop, Redis, and ActiveMQ. Uh, on the other hand, XBath targets when Microsoft Windows machines only for cryptocurrency mining and self propagation. For self propagation, it exploits three known vulnerabilities in Hadoop, Redis, and ActiveMQ. Huh. Hadoop Yarn Resource Manager, unauthenticated command, execute bug to close in October of 2016, and has no CVE number assigned. Redis uh, arbitrary files writes and run command execute vulnerability disclosed in October of 2015 with no CVE number assigned. Active MQ arbitrary files write vulnerability CVE 2016 30 disclosed in early 2016. If the point is vulnerability read service, XBash will send malicious script, dark script, or DB script payload for downloading and execute the coin miner for Windows instead of its botnet for ransomware module. As mentioned above, XBAS is developed in Python and then was converted to portable execute PE using Pi installer, which can create binaries for multiple platforms, including Windows, Apple Mac OS, Linux, and also providing additional detection and effort detection. Nice. This in turn enables XBash to be a truly cross platform malware, though at the time of writing, researchers found samples only for Linux and did not see any Windows or Mac OS versions of XBash. <laughs> Users can protect themselves by XBash by, by following basic system security practices. Obtain default login credentials on your system. Use strong and unique passwords. Keep your operating system and software up to date. Avoid downloading or running untrusted file or click links. Take backup of their data regularly and prevent unauthorized connection using a firewall. Basically saying, okay, we invented a new way to fuck your computer up so that we can sell you our new product to protect you from the program that we invented. Yeah, I mean, that's the same shit you told. Make sure you use a strong password. I mean, it's the same shit you hear about every fucking time. Make sure you use a strong, a strong password. Keep things, keep things up to date. No fucking shit, Charlie. Stick my dick and call me daddy. What the fuck you talking about, man? Hey, hey, hey. We're told this shit every time when there's something that's happening. Make sure you have a strong password, son. Make sure you have your stuff secure up to date. And, 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 and you know, make, make sure you have spy bot search and destroy malware bytes and CC cleaner at all times. Yeah. yeah. And make sure. They don't tell you that. And don't forget to listen to Russ Limbaugh, son. He might teach you something. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it's it seems that you know, there's also that that really bugs me. And I mean, I lit a challenge yesterday. Yeah. Now I meant that challenge. That, 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 that challenge, I meant it big time. Because we all know Facebook 
and Twitter and Google are all a bunch of uh, cock to win thunder acts. cunts who are absolutely out of their freaking mind. And that channel I made is going Google this for a month, going Facebook for a month. See how it, I mean, I mean, see how much hit, hit these companies would take for a month. Huh. How many will log on? How many will say anything for a month? Yeah, I mean, you have the people out. who do out. the whole, hey, let's log off for a day. I mean, yeah, that works for a day, but what are you going to do after the fact? You're going to go right back to using it. It's not going to be a lasting yeah. impact. Well, the thing is, I mean, I made this challenge because the challenge where nobody dies, they'll make it so because there's, there's been challenges all over the fucking place where people get sick, they die, they, they, they mend their face, and other shit. This is a challenge to see if they have the ball to do it for a month. No Google, no Google Chrome, no Google. Google Assistant, no Facebook method for a month. Have an alternative for a month and see if all that goes. If you could do it, hey, more power to you. If you can't, hey, it's on you. See how long you can go. Yeah. <clears throat> well, why, well, the whole thing is, is that some of us have enough age to actually have done this before. Yeah, you're millennial. So it shouldn't be that difficult to do something that you you have done before. See, the the shout for the ones that are on constantly on it. This this goes this, this for them too. I mean, this this, this kind of like freaking the addiction to social media addiction for one month. Go to an alternative besides Facebook, besides Twitter, besides YouTube. Yeah, figure out how to use your phone as a phone instead of a computer. Yeah. Right. <coughs> phone or computer. I mean, shit. I mean, I'm willing to do it. I mean, I haven't used Google in months. I haven't used Google Chrome in months. I haven't used the... Uh, Google Assistant in months. I've been using Bing. I've been using Firefox Focus. I've been using Katana for the last couple past few months. Yeah. And, it, and it's worked. I don't need Google. I don't need Google Chrome. I don't need to use the damn Google Assistant. I got, I got alternatives. I don't need Facebook. But do I have it? Yeah. Do I use it? Not Half par partially a uh, part of the time. Not all the time. I'm, re I'm really on it. Really on it. I'm on Mines. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on BitChute. I'm on Tumblr. I'm just logged in whenever my computer's on and I'm sitting at it if anybody else wants to have a conversation. Right. I got Hollowness. I got MeWe. I mean, you don't need Facebook, really. I mean, it's just a data mining platform for uh, assholes like Cambridge and Lincoln shit. You know, they're linked to Facebook. They're data mining. They're, they're cryptocurrency mining. They're they're cock juggling thunder cunts and shit. You know, like, um, I believe in that. If you have an alternative, you go to an alternative. I do. I ain't stupid. We ain't right. stupid. MeWe is a great alternative because they literally state that they don't data mine you. They literally state within the terms of agreement and on the front sign up page, not for sale. Yep. Yeah. I will be right back. Keep on talking, guys. But this platform that you got, like, for, for example, like YouTube, they, 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 when, I, when I first came on YouTube eight years ago, I read the terms of service. I go back and read it now. Completely different. Completely different. And it bugs me because my first two years on YouTube, it was fun. 
I mean, I'm, I met, I met, I met people, make a friend, say, hey, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's platforms that really don't get the hint, don't get it. And then you got Google algorithms being um, fiddled with, and then they don't want to tell you that they're being fiddled with. But whenever you technically think about it, either way it goes, they're being messed with. But here's the way that they're actually being messed with. Now, the people who pay to be advertised, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of the people of multiple searches of the people who advertise versus, versus the actual links of something that you're technically officially looking for. Yeah. But here, here's a good thing in a way that uh, President Trump is uh, having uh, is having an executive order to have Google, Facebook, and Twitter investigated for over for uh, for the antitrust law shit. Well, there's actually two things I want to bring up. Since you brought up that one, I'll bring up the thing that just popped into my head. I think it's Rosenstein. Rosenstein so claimed that he thought about wiretapping himself and having a conversation with Trump. That would so blow up in his face because Amarosa did it and, and she failed. But you get what I'm stating yeah, here. That's yeah, that, like, yeah. yeah, like, I think it was like Friday or something. It was on a <coughs> drug <George> report. <coughs> I didn't quite get to be able to uh, actually read it or anything, but he, I went that, back and I found yeah. the second story that popped out. I didn't get to read the first one. I had to read the second one that popped out. But what I also wanted to, I wanted to ask you a question. You know how some corporations have a board of directors, their shareholders and everything? Yeah. And if you own the majority of the shares, you own, you more or less own the company, right? Yeah. Okay, so... I don't remember what his but, name was. The but, original all, owner but, of also, PayPal. but also, the board of directors can also remove you if you abuse your power as a sole owner of the company. They can, they can remove I'm you. I'm talking about shareholders. Yeah. Shareholders have no power at all. They have, they have, they have, they have no power at all. They, 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 buy, they buy shares of the company which they think they got control, hmm. and only come the only people they have they have power. Okay, okay. It goes to the owner, then the board of directors, then the investors, and and, and the shareholders. That's Let's why. bring up PayPal. Who, who who created PayPal? I can't quite remember his name or something like that. Um. I I heard on YouTube uh, uh, last week. That I I went I I uh, they talk been watching videos on certain companies how they origin and like how Apple came to be how um, Android came to be part of Google and shit like that and um, I think um, somebody did you hear me Grandmaster yeah yeah Grandmaster I thought. I'm trying to remember the name. I'm trying to remember the name, but it, it, it was created by somebody. Uh, oh, PayPal. I don't know exactly what happened to the creator of the owner or something, but George Soros, George Soros, just so happens to be the owner of the majority share of PayPal now. Well, and let's not say too much about George Soros. Let's just well, state his name and he may, say he that may, it's Soros. He may now have, now. He may have, a, <laughs> he may have a, a majority owner of some shares of PayPal, but he ain't got the power to do, to do anything with PayPal. He's just a shareholder. He can't do shit. Well, let's just let's just state his name, and he's majority shareholder of PayPal now. Let's not say anything. Okay, let's just okay. stay neutral with that. Okay, like, okay. <laughs> let's just stay neutral with um, that state. Well, well, well. The fact is that he may be a majority shareholder. He ain't got much say. 
no shareholder ha has any say in things, but they, they own shares. Okay, you buy a share. Yeah, but if you're the majority shareholder, that pretty much gives you the highest voting power. As far as votes go, that's where you hold sway. That's like with Apple when uh, Apple hired a guy from Pepsi who didn't who didn't know, don't know shit about Apple. Behind the scenes, took over behind the scenes. And they uh, they removed two jobs from Apple, and he went on to create the uh, Mac and stuff. That he uh, did his own did, did, did his own thing, and then when he came back, the guy that took over, he got booted, he got fired, he got some some prison time and shit, and. Uh, for some fraud type bullshit, and then Steve Jobs clean house and shit. He clean house, and that and, 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 and like I said, the rest was history. And then he got then he got Bill Gates, who was a hacker turned environmentalist. Yeah, that dumb shit. He's a. Uh, that's what that's what he is. What's with the Belgian tonight, man? <laughs> that's him in his soda over there, bro. I'm drinking beer, but you don't see me burping up a storm. <laughs> but I do agree with that. Um, at one time, PayPal and eBay were at one time together. Then it was somebody had the idea of forcing them apart because it would, it would be better off for business. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I've also heard something about Google is actually DARPA. Like, I, but I can't confirm or deny that Project X does or does not exist, but I heard like a whisper that Google is technically DARPA. Would that surprise you? I don't know. No, I would say that's uh, there. Google, the is more, Google is more of a dark, dark type company. They're not, not really dark, but they're more like a dark type company. So, I came across another store here oh. um, uh, last night. This is something good here, hopefully. Uh, where's that? British spies ha hacked a Belgian telecom firm on minister's orders. Let me read wow. you guys. British spies are likely to have hacked into Belgium's biggest te telecommunications operator. For at least two year period on instructions of UK ministers. Confidential reports submitted by Belgian prosecutors have said to have concluded the findings will support the allegations made by the whistleblower Eric Snowden five years ago, which he leaked 20 slides exposing the targeted targets of hacking by the British intelligence services GS, GCHQ. According to unconfirmed reports, in the Belgian media, federal prosecutors report suggest the hackers closed their operations within a matter of minutes after being exposed in August of 2013. It is believed that interception of Belgicom, now Proximus, Proximus, P R O X I M U S, has been ongoing since 2011. Justice Minister Cohen Deems have been confirmed he has received the report. And that will it will be discussed within National Security Council, led by Prime Minister Charles Mitchell. British spies have said to have targeted the, the computers of Belgicom employees working in security and maintenance in fake link LinkedIn messages 
that was particularly focused on the Belgian company's subsidiary unit, Belcom International Carrier Services, which handles phones and data traffic in Africa and the Middle East. And for the espionage, given the code name Operation Socialist, was also seeking to target com communications made between roaming smartphones. The interception would have provided access to communications at NATO headquarters in Brussels and at key European institutions, including European Commission, European Parliament, and European Council. The operation has was the first documented example of the EU member state covertly, covertly hacking into critical infrastructures of other of another. The unpublished prosecutor's report is said to indicate that the spy operation must be been authorized at the highest level of the British government. In 2011, William Hague was British Britain, British Britain's former foreign secretary. The report is said to conduct. There is not enough evidence to prosecute any individual. When approached by a Belgian daily newspaper, the the Jid, a spokesman of the federal prosecutor declined to comment on the report. The spokesperson of the tel of, told the newspaper that the situation was too delicate right now. GCHQ has also declined to comment. The slides laid five years ago by Snowden, a former contractor for the U.S. National Security Agency, came from the Network Analysis Center, a department of GCHQ. Elo Di Rupo, a both prime minister at the top time, promised to take appropriate steps if the high level involvement of a foreign country was confirmed. The Belgian government and major shareholder in Belcom has spent 50 million euros on improving the company's security in the wake of hacking scandal. <clears throat> and it went silent. Now, here's a new one. Amazon announces 25 US dollar smart plug that lets you control prices with Alexa. Okay. Yeah, that's that. That's all saying. Okay. It's another spy thing, man. I don't like it at all here. Amazon oh, announced it. They it's have another fucking spy drone <laughs> coming to your house again. How many are? The, how many does that make now? Twelve. <laughs> that's an exaggerated yeah. number. Amazon is announcing <laughs> a small new Alexa device today. It's more plug. The electric control. Oh my goodness. It's a small smart plug. <laughs> they got smart dildos, and now they got smart plugs. The fuck? Smart plugs. There's an app for it. Um, control whatever plug into, into with Alexa. The plug doesn't have microphones built in in it, but so you'll have <coughs> need an echo device some somewhere else in your house. Control it by voice, but once it's set up, you'll be able to control it whether in or out of the house from Alexa or Alexa app. The plug will sell for $25. Really? Wow. Which, which, is, a, which is pretty much a standard price for any kind of, de of device. There's a ton of smart plugs. Yeah, where? Alexa's ass? Mm -hmm. Smart plugs are out there already. Many which already works with Alexa, fucking poor, and most of these awful <laughs> smart home systems <laughs> giving them a advantage over this device, but Amazon thinks this product can stand out because of the setup. Amazon says it's built a simple automated setup process into Echo, fucking bastard, devices, and this smart plug is one of the first devices to support it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, I left it in her ass. Amazon yeah. is a strong setup for home gadgets. Alexa told me what it did for. Especially <laughs> something without a screen. Yeah, you run and get a whore. Like a smart plug can be a hassle, so have it working automatically. Yeah. On vibrate. It definitely <laughs> has, of course, you know, controlling the largest online storefront in the world. It sounds like Wi-Fi routers, but, but may also need a 
at port for this simple setup in order for it to work. Yeah, put out on the street and get paid, bitch. Which also slows down the rollout, but Amazon, a whorehouse, says it already partnered up with TP Link, which is an, an arrow to add to port. What on. It's more plug for twenty five fucking dollars. Oh, here it is. I found it. Like <laughs> Okay, this is a spoof story. Okay. And I found a while back that I read. And more or less into it without saying too much unless Tin Man wants to hear more. See this plug more or less um, See this plug? Five dollars. Right. Five dollars. And don't talk. It's fucking deaf. Thank God. Yeah, we don't need more or less. Um, more or less, somebody got hold of a prototype Alexis before Alexis was even on the market, and it kind of told them the future a few times, and then it told them something extravagant. Alexa told me where the bodies are buried. Nice. Now, remember, this is a spoof story. Terra lingua. To my Terra knowledge, lingua. it is a spoof story. Terra lingua. You know, it's all desert, you know? It's all desert and shit. That's where, that, that's where they buried all those guys that had involved in that Kennedy, Kennedy shit. They're all buried out there, right? They're all buried out there and shit. Unmarked mass grave, man. I mean, I mean, you gotta think that you know if if, if you look at the uh, all these prototypes and shit, like the first uh, Apple, the Apple. Apple, the first Apple computer, the the type, just turned. I mean, it, it was on on a board with a keyboard and 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 a and a monitor screen, dude. Valued at a million dollars. Wow. For a prototype. Imagine using that shit to hack crap, man. Just put in, put, put in new software, shit. Hook it up. Fuck. Damn. You be. You'd be like creating a, a, a kind of off grid system and shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it'd be intense. Running shit on bots, hide behind the box and shit. No, no, okay. I mean, I was, I was playing fucking like, Watch Dogs, the first Watch Dogs and shit. And uh, if you realize those games, Watch Dogs, the Watch Dogs game, man, that shit tells you the fucking truth, dude. No shit. I was playing the, uh, the, the sequel, and man. There was uh, like this guy. He was supposed to be the head of uh, Bloom. Was kind of like uh, Bloom is more like kind of like you think of uh, Bazaar Hamilton, which is another company which is where someone worked at and shit. Uh, who is basically a intelligence monitoring company and shit, and then then you got uh, uh, um. FBI who took a back seat to this motherfucker who had a man bun. Man bun. This motherfucker. Okay. And he... What does a man bun have to do with anything? Well, well, nothing really. Um, but if, 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 you play, if you play throughout the game, it tells you a lot of shit. I mean, like fuck. Even, even, even I got. I, I had to literally stop playing for a moment, and kind of think about this shit. Think about it. You got the companies telling the feds what the fucking doing shit. You know? Yeah. And like, CTOS. What's what's that? 
if you, if you, it's, it's a monitoring system. It's it's, it's another it's, it's another version of. Uh, I mean, I mean, what's what's one what's one company that makes these fucking cameras and shit throughout the country? These these fucking spy cameras and shit. Who makes them? That's a good question. I don't know. And um, it, it's it's a a system where that. I mean, I mean, you have a phone, you have computers. I mean, you got uh, street cameras and shit. You got fucking ATMs with cameras and shit. I mean, everywhere, prisons, jails, and the streets and shit, the shopping mall, everywhere. They got cameras everywhere, even uh, even up Rosie's asshole. What the fuck? And and they could be manipulated. Yeah, easy. And, and, and the game, th this is all over the country, CTOS, and just just this idea, the eye is watching your fucking ass, no matter where you go. I mean, you look, it could be crossing the street, walking down the street, you know, it could be at a bus depot, or airline, or airport, or a park, or or the mall, or someplace insane. And they're watching you. I mean, every time you make a move, it's there. Yep. There was a series, a television series called Person of Interest. Person of Interest, yeah. I've heard of that. Okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, clear, uh, Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye. I think I've heard of that one too. Yeah, it has a uh, child above it before he fucking did shit. And he was listening to uh, Jimmy Fallon or, or somebody on the Tonight Show. And the, the, the feds, they are the technical advisors for the, for the movies and shit. Anything that, that does government movies, kind of like that, the feds or CA people, they're in there, they, 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 uh, they're technical advisors and shit. Uh, they they explain the inputs and outputs of events, even when even when it's a, a movie about a true story and shit on an awesome event. Yeah, of course. Because why are they going to be honest? Chug, 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 and <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens whenever you taunt the base over there? Yep. Yeah. I'll I taunt mean, the beast. See, I, I, I got. Let's see here. Sequel here. The, the, uh, this is a sequel. Hmm. Not bad. Takes place in the Bay Area, man. I mean. I mean, like, oh shit! Holy crap! And and, and the sequel, you're using you're using drones, you're using using one called the Hopper, and a um a, a hover drone. Huh. Let's check that. And uh, the Hopper, it's a three wheel little. I mean, I want one. <laughs> I want one real bad. Uh, you can use it to hack. You can use it to. This shit that, that you couldn't do in the first game. But the idea, I mean, drones. And, I mean, what was cool was making the first one, the first Watch Dogs was dedicated to Anonymous. Yeah. And and in the group called Dead Sick, they were a, a influence from Anonymous. Yeah, and I'm like, holy, like, I I felt I felt like this is an honor, man. You know, kind of is. It's like that. So, I tell you what, man. I I'm just glad that that I'm learning some so much shit, man. Holy crap! Yeah. Um. 
I'd like to break the uh, fourth wall here for a minute and speak to the view for viewers and be like, well, oh, I apologize for the last few weeks because all of this tech difficulty as you had a round table in a few weeks either because all of us have tech difficulty in one way or another. Yeah. Usually, man, usually. I had one the other day. Well, well, was it, was it uh, two days ago when I when I, when I when I let out the challenge on my on my first channel? Lost sound. The audio went dead. Huh. Dang. The audio went dead. Some on my video this they they uh, commented no sound. What the fuck? No sound. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's no sound, I mean... Then there's no video. There, there's video, but, 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 but there's no sound. Yeah, but you have no video if there's no sound. I mean, what's the point of a video if you have no sound? True. This ain't a silent <laughs> film. This ain't the silent right. film era. Somebody struggled with man, I tell you. Oh, yeah. I feel it. I know it. Somebody is fucking with those big time, man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> They're always fucking with us. They're not watching us anymore. They're fucking with us. They're making sure that we cannot get out information. Period. They're making sure that their narrative is the narrative. Yeah, I gotta upload the videos from the last two weeks. It's been a freaking nightmare on my end. I've Apologize, I've dropped the ball on that shit. It's just been a fucking nightmare trying to get a fucking job and get shit going again. I've at least got rent covered for the month of October, so I'm good on that. Yeah, I myself may have to go dark here soon because I don't know where I'm going to be here shortly. Yeah, it sucks having shit up in the air like that. That bugs me, man. That bugs me big time. Well. But at least, at least I know that I'm still going to have my income, though, for at least another decade because I talked to an actual human that wanted to help me. Oh, that's good. So, and with your income, you'll be able to get yeah, my income no place. So, yeah, my income will be good as long as the government exists, as long as I pass the test every decade. Yeah, which I'm sure isn't hard to do. Not for someone like myself. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and call it tonight. I'm going to... So, on behalf of Grandmaster Revan, Zero, and Genevieve, who dropped off earlier, this is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the Resistance.